Taipei Mayor Kuenja is making good on an earlier campaign promise that each family with a newborn child won't need to spend more than 8,000 NT for nanny service each month. Ke said Taipei City would soon implement a community-based nanny service that would see three nannies care for up to 10 babies at a time. Ke's plan is ambitious and will soon need to overcome challenge such as staffing and locations. More details of a community-based nanny program were revealed. While elementary schools and the neighborhood offices have been mentioned as potential locations, a few neighborhood chiefs have expressed their concern. From the perspective of a neighborhood chief, this is a huge burden. The key to taking care of the elderly and children lies in the training of professional caretakers. To be honest, it's what we lack. The community-based nanny program aims to be better than public daycare centers in terms of location and nanny-to-child ratios. In public daycare centers, there are usually nine nannies caring for 45 children, with the size of these daycare centers typically between 70 to 80 ping. It's relatively difficult to find large places to accommodate so many children. But for community-based nanny programs, only 20 to 40 pink spaces can be considered. While the public daycare centers charge around 11,000 NT per child each month, the figure for community-based programs range from 8,000 to 10,000 NT. For parents, the community-based nanny programs are more affordable, though the creation of this program could result in higher demand for professional nannies. Taipei City's Department of Social Welfare plans to launch the program in September or October, but getting the staffing and suitable locations is proving to be a daunting challenge.